inoculation is one operation that you have to get right. If you miss this one, you are in very big trouble. The reason is that a soybean crop, a uh, 40 bushel crop, will probably take 200 to 300 pounds of nitrogen, and you do not want to be adding that later on in the season. So you add the you add the the proper inoculant, the proper bacteria, which is Brady rhizobium japonicum, to the soybean seed on seed before you you plant that. That's not a, a bacteria that's native to Manitoba. So if you have never grown soybeans in a field before, you have to make sure that you have that added. The second. Um, almost the insurance uh, uh, version of, of, of an inoculant is adding a granular inoculant in the seed row as you're, as you're planting. And that is, uh, is kind of a Cadillac version of, a, of, a, of an inoculant, but what it does is, is it gives you uh, better inoculation and it also gives you a second opportunity for that plant to get inoculated if the on-seed treatment fails for some reason. If you have too high of a residual nitrogen level in your soil, it can actually inhibit nodulation of the, of the plants. So we would like to see 50 pounds or less of, of nitrogen in the soil if you're planting, especially on a field of soybeans that is maybe the first or the second time you've ever planted in, in there. The reason is that the soybean is, uh, will use the, the uh, amount of the nitrogen that's most easily available, and that is the soil nitrogen level. Or the soil nitrogen. So um, it does take 12 to 15 percent of the plant's energy to feed the bacteria to produce the nitrogen, so it, it will take the easiest amount. So having said that, um, if you're planting into a field that has had perhaps three or four soybean crops, um, it's not quite as critical because the soybean plant will have opportunity to pick up bacteria that spread out into the soil and uh, it can fix nitrogen a little later. But what you don't want to do is, is, to, is to run out of uh, nitrogen during the growing season and not have your crop nodulating properly. We have seen fields where the plants have not get, got properly nodulated due to high levels of nitrogen. And if you're only relying on a on-seed inoculant, um, that plant has one opportunity to, to make that relationship with the bacteria and that's when, this, when the root is coming out. So what happens is the plant doesn't form nodules, it's using the background levels, the soil nitrogen runs out and later on there aren't any bacteria there for it to, to start to produce its own. So um, in the other side of that, if, if the plant has or the field has levels of bacteria in it, it can pick it up later but it will reduce it. Inoculation is really the only way to get nitrogen fixation with those plants. And here in Manitoba, because like I say, it's not a native bacteria, it's, 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 it's imperative that you put at least an on-seed inoculant on that.